Hi, it's Charlie. And as you, you can see that I'm not in the sweet spot, and I'm not in Phantom Center, I'm not anywhere in my apartment, I'm not anywhere near San Antonio. In fact, I made it back from my hometown in Bell County. And what you see behind me is the lake that feeds the water, serves as a water source for my hometown, and that is still has Pablo Lake. Um, over here off to my right, or on your left, is the dam. You can't see the dam here, but you can see the water. And water is actually kind of kind of high. And in this part of the country, in this part of Texas, actually, most lakes are not natural lakes. Like the lake behind me here, Still House Hall Lake, is not a natural lake. All these lakes are for flood control, and which is which is unusual in this case because the, the the lake behind me is almost full. And I wanted to talk about something that has happened. Oh, I should say that happened. It's just something that that occurred to me a few days ago while I was listening to my music at home in San Antonio. And I happened to pull out an album by Robert Palmer called Clues. And this was a reissue that came from Culture Factory USA. And if you're not familiar with Culture Factory USA, they are a, a, reissue, a reissue label that does mini LP replicas of all their of all their releases. And they're actually quite good at it. The only bad thing about it is that their CDs sound God awfully horrible. The master is just bad all the way around. It's just horribly bad sounding CDs. No matter how much they brag about their 9624 high definition audio remastering BS. If you come across Culture Factory, don't buy it because they just sound god awful. However, on the flip side of that coin, I was running across a lot of my CDs that were coming from that, that I bought from uh, another label here in the United States that is called Wounded Bird. And Wooden Bird is the exact opposite of Culture Factory. They are bare bones, straight head, straightforward, nothing fancy reissues. And they sound most times really, really good. They don't cost that much, but at the same time, they go out of print pretty quickly. I have several Wounded Bird reissues, and like I said, most, for the most part, they're very, very good. But what you pay for, you're not gonna get, and you're not gonna get a whole a great deal of detail in terms of their of the remastering. You don't know who did the remastering, how they got it, or where it came from. They just, I think they just petitioned the record companies most times, Warner Brother Records in the United States, for a album that, that either was, they never, never were released on CD in the first round of CD releases back in the 90s, or just never came to CD at all. They came to CDs at all. And you get, like I said, bare bones, you get the most basic releases. Uh, you get the album cover, you may get a little bit of the, uh, liner notes inside but if there are any extra photographs any any extra photos whatever you probably won't get that inside of a wounded bird record wounded bird release and the thing about that is is the thing about that's really curious is that when wounded bird when wounded bird releases come out they depending on who the artist is they sell it pretty quickly they go out of print pretty fast and they and they go out of print with with no warning whatsoever they at least sound great you just you're just going to lose something in terms of but like I said, the, the the artwork, the liner notes, the lyrics maybe not be there, maybe just or maybe bare bones, which is the exact opposite of the Culture Factory. Because Culture Factory has, from what I tell from what I can tell from the website, has a, a great load of desirable music that I would love to have. Well, look at, look at there. We got a Chinook, an army helicopter headed toward us here. Double two bladed Chinook, flying low. You've seen them more, but that's what's making that noise. I actually flew on one of those one time, and one of the scariest rides I've ever been on was flying on the Chinook. I was drenched in hydraulic fluid. I have a number of Wounded Bird releases, and for the most part, they're all very good. They all sound very good, at least. They're just lacking details on, you know, where the master tape come from. And I think that that's, that's the whole point, is that they just take whatever the record company gives them and make the best of it. Sonically, that is, and then they, you know, send some intern out to, to Kinkos and copies the, the album cover and the inside, inside details, inside sleeve and everything, and they, they put it on the CD and then that's it, and they, and they throw it out there. But I will tell you that if you come across from the bird, give them a shot, give them a chance. Don't don't turn those about them completely because they lack the accoutrements of Culture Factor or at least even regular DVD releases. Is that? But Wounded Birds out there, they just all they do is reissues. That's all they do, and they do a pretty good job of it. So cut them, cut them some slack, and give them, give them a shot. Mm -hmm.